being removed. In my dream, he showed me the book of Daniel. So I knew it was a demonic delay caused by warfare in the spiritual. You need to differentiate between delay caused by mental paradigms, meaning by beliefs that you have, and delays caused by demonic warfare. In this dream, it was about the spiritual warfare. As I was reading the passage from Daniel 10, verse 4 stood out to me. And it's saying on the 24th day of the first month, as I was standing on the bank of the great river, the Tigris. So in the Hebrew, the first month is the month of Nisan. But the Lord gave me uh, the dream last night and we are in the first month right now. We are in the month of January. A bit over three weeks ago, the Lord had me release a video saying that he's breaking delay. Demonic delay is being broken. Daniel 10 verse 12 says, do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come in response to them. But the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. So the Lord is sending Michael. There is also a warning, and the warning is about the trick of the enemy, which he uses to harden your heart so that you cannot receive a word. And I want to go to Acts chapter 16 and start reading in chapter 16. It's saying, once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. When her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. So, Let's see what uh, she was saying. She was saying, these men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. So was this true? This was true. What she was saying was true. And in the Greek, the spirit of divination, the spirit by which she predicted the future is called Python. And the spirit of Python is telling you the truth. And it's telling you the truth with a strategy. So what is the strategy? It's trying to make you immune to receiving the word of God. It tells you that Paul became so annoyed, distressed, worn out and exhausted. He was depleted. The Strong's Concordance says it was a piercing fatigue. Now, this is what's happening. There are prophets and men and women of God who receive a word from God, which is pretty similar. So God confirms his word. Then the enemy takes it and uses it uh, for witches to release it to you with the intention of making money. Not just that, but he wants to wear you out. It's God's strategy to reverse something in three days. For example, the enemy takes that word like in three days and releases prophetic words through the spirit of divination, through this Python spirit and literally wears you out. You're saying the same word over and over and over again. And you're thinking to yourself, if I hear this word one more time, I'm going to scream. I can't hear it any longer. Just skip it, zip it. It literally gets on your nerves. You are annoyed by the word. And that's how the enemy hardens your heart and makes it unfruitful. It makes the soil of your heart hard. And this spirit steals God's word and uses it unauthorized through witches. Another thing that it does, it keeps you back from supporting God's work, God's kingdom. You may have sown into words that were stolen by the enemy and you do not want to give to 
uh, support God's kingdom. The Bible says to test the spirits. There are words that you hear and that you listen to, prophetic words that you are watching, and they say everything right, but it just doesn't sit right in your spirit. You cannot put a finger on what it is, but there is a problem. It agitates you. Something annoys you. Something gets on your nerves. It agitates you. It's like sand in your shoes. And when a prophetic person, like from God, when a prophet releases that word again, you don't listen to it anymore. It doesn't find place in you anymore, even though it's from him. New age tries to invade the prophetic. It's difficult to rebuke someone saying the truth, isn't it? Even Paul took many days until he did it. But he did it. Don't let yourself get disturbed. God is working. Don't harden your heart for God's truth, but rebuke the spirit of Python. Sit in silence with God and ask him to refresh your spirit and your hearing to bring that same word to you in a different light, in a fresh way so that you can receive it. I pray that this encourages you to believe God's word and to believe him for miracles. Sometimes you just need to step back and let God refresh you. So many blessings and talk to you soon. I believe that God created